Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I'm going to share with you three plants that I propagate and these are very easy to do. So let's get straight into the first one being the prayer plant. And this is a really resilient plant. It's also very forgiving if you don't look after it well. And it's called a prayer plant because every evening it closes its leaves up in prayer and then every morning opens its leaves out again. So it's been in our family for decades. And if you're looking to propagate it, it's very simple. You see those little nodes and then you go down about an inch, clip it off. So what you want is those little bumps. And I'll always pick a stem that has a couple of nodes and some leaves. Just fine, it makes it easier to propagate. In it goes, some recycled jam jars and some water. And all you want to make sure is that the node is under the water. The next plant we're going to propagate is the Chinese money plant. Now I find this a little bit more tricky and it's a bit more delicate to look after, but I'm having fun with this plant. I've had it for about a year now. And you'll always get these little new shoots coming out down at the base. That's what we want to take off. Now experts suggest that you take the plant out of the pot so that you can kind of clear as much soil around it and make sure you're really getting the whole root. So this is a messy one. And just keep it really gentle because you don't want to disturb the roots. You want to get the full stump off. Just repotting the plant. So when you're disturbing the roots like that, it's a good time if you do want to repot it, this is the time to do it rather than putting it in and out again. And I find with the Chinese money plant is that she doesn't like loads of water. So I always have to keep an eye on that because sometimes I can get a little bit too heavy with water. I just make a hole in the lid with just a hammer and nail. And then make sure the root of this is in the water. And onto the windowsill it goes with its little family. Last but not least is the butterfly plant. Now I find this the easiest to propagate. There's only one step needed to take. Like the prayer plant, they also close and then they open. And they just look like little butterflies and you get these lovely little white flowers. And so with the butterfly plant, there's loads of little kind of roots and they're like little stumps. I kind of call them a bulb. And you can see there this little bulb and it'll have about one or two stems coming out of it. So what you want to do is get really deep and pop out the bulb gently, like so. And that's really it. You don't have to go into water. It can go straight into more soil and it will regrow. So this is a really easy one because you don't have to go to the water first and build up some roots. And it's a really nice way of giving gifts because obviously if you've got a butterfly plant, there is tons of little bulbs in one plant. So that's the butterfly plant done. Easy propagation. And a little bit of water. And so they're all there on the windowsill. I'll change the water out once a week. And then after about a month, 
you should have loads of nice roots growing out. And I will gently put it from the water into some soil. Now you can leave the prayer plant in water for longer. It seems to do okay and it will keep growing new leaves. But I'm always running out of room on the windowsill so I like to pot them up and then place them all over the house. And when you're really lucky with prayer plant you'll get lovely little white flowers as well, kind of similar to the butterfly plant. And been after a month now, little roots on the palea that I propagated before. I'm just going to place it in soil. I find with the Chinese money plant that it takes a little bit longer to grow. And I'd love if you shared any other indoor plants that you propagate, how you do it, which ones you love to propagate, which ones you find easy. I've been propagating the prayer plant and the butterfly plant for years. And they'll grow, I find, really, really fast. Chinese money plant, a little bit slower and I'm only a beginner at that. But it's loads of fun, so it's always worth, if you haven't tried propagating before, to give it a go. It's all trial and error, you'll only know when you try. I'd love chatting, as always, in the comments. We can chat all things plants or over on Instagram. Have a wonderful week, keep it simple, and I'll see you in the next video.